Steve here doing a review for Stranger Things Season 2, Episode 6, entitled The Spy. So I hope you have your egos waffles. Uh, some of you are probably wondering why the army guy is not doing these reviews. Well, uh, in this last video, Sergeant B got a little out of line and threatened the United States government. Wanted people to burn it down. That is entirely unacceptable. Uh, he also threatened our viewers if they gave him any spoils in the comments. Understandable, sure, but still. And, of course, he said he, that Eggo Waffles could piss off, which probably would cost us some advertising. And, you know, on YouTube. Really not digging those yellow money signs. So anyway, I suspended him for two videos. Uh, the last video for the Stranger Things, of course. Uh, we gave that to Kozo, our uh, red new hire. Hope you enjoyed that. And today, like I said, I'm going to do a review for uh, Stranger Things. This is episode six. I've watched all six episodes. And uh, this one was a very good one. You know, uh, really broke, took things up a notch. I just have a few notes. Uh, let's talk about Joyce, the mother. Uh, I gotta say, I don't think she's all that good of a mother. Now, I know that she's done a lot for Will. She's very protective of him because of you know, the events of last season. But what about Jonathan? You know, the older son? She doesn't seem to give a shit about him. I mean, he left with uh, Nancy to go to see the, re the reporter so they could you know, expose the story two days ago. And I haven't heard her say one word about Jonathan. Now, I know a lot's going on with Will because the character, you know, uh, the last episode when they started burning the uh, Upside Down in Hawkins, uh, he started, you know, spazzing out. And in this one, he's in, you know, Hawkins' lab, basically in the hospital. They're trying to figure out what's wrong with him. And, you know, it's... <laughs> so I can understand why she's so upset. She might not consider Jonathan. But, I mean, really? Not at all. Two days. And she knows all the sort of crazy shit that's going down in her town. You know, you've got this underground lair with God knows what down. And, you know, you got the slugs. And, you know, nearly killed a guy because it was, you know, just the roots were just squeezing him into the wall. And it doesn't occur to her to think, well, where's my other son? She's not the least bit worried about Jonathan. Yeah. Okay, speaking of Jonathan, of course, he and Nancy went out to see the reporters so they could expose the story, although it would be a little watered down. I did enjoy their storyline, even though it was kind of outside of everything else that was happening. Of course, they hook up. That was sweet. I love fucking Murray's joke the next day. Uh, so, did you enjoy the pullout? <laughs> That was funny. Uh, and he was just really funny. I love how he gave them a bottle of water and vodka as a gift. You know, water it down. Okay, uh, let's see. Also, I love the twist. The title is called The Spy. And I, for one, was dead certain that Bob the Brain was the spy they were talking about. But turns out it wasn't him. I won't spoil it for you if you haven't seen it yet. But that was a good twist, and then I'll, I'll give you this twist away. Turns out Reisner's character is a good guy. At one point, they just want to burn down the whole upside down with fire, which affects Will, because he's connected to it. And Reisner's like, can we try some other idea? And of course, <laughs> what I love, a little homage to aliens. Of course, Paul Reisner is the guy at the control booth, watching the cameras, and all the soldiers are getting eaten. And, you know, he's the guy in charge of who fucked everything up. So, nice homage to aliens. Of course, my favorite story tonight was Steve and Duncan and, um, what's his name? The uh, African-American kid. Uh, Winston. Yeah, I think his name is Winston. He, they, uh, you know, they're trying to track down Dart, the, you know, oh, dang, Degamagorian. <laughs> I'm not too good with the name. Anyway, you know, they, they try to set up a trap. I love the you know, back and forth between, you know, Steve and Duncan. He's telling them how to get chicks and, you know, 
It's like, don't pay any attention to them. And he, yeah, I love his little, his hairstyling <laughs> uh, tip. That was funny. And I kind of like, you know, Winston and Max, it kind of looks like the romance is going more towards, you know, uh, those two. Here's one problem I did have with uh, the situation with the, you know, they were setting up a trap for the Demogorgon. There we go, Demogorgon. I said it right that time. And, you know, uh, Duncan in the last episode was like, hey, bring your bat. You know, they'll see the bat they used last season with all the nails in it. And I'm like, when they, I see them setting up the trap, you know, it's like it's going to be, you know, there's going to be some fire involved. Uh, spoiler alert, it doesn't work. But uh, don't you think they should have brought more than a baseball bat? And I guess uh, Winston brought his slingshot again. And I'm like, you know, you've faced off against these things before. You know how difficult they are. Why the hell is the only thing they're bringing to this fight is the damn baseball bat and the, the fucking slingshot? Come on, guys, step it up a notch. You know, um... I don't want to, you know, be a firearms advocate, but maybe a gun. Not a gun. Maybe like, well, you know, like a firearm gun. But what about a, a, a harpoon gun? Or a harpoon? You know, a pool cube. You know, a sledgehammer. You know, maybe some Molotov co cocktails. I mean, the baseball bat again? Come on. Just, yeah. Uh, aside from that, it's a pretty good episode. Uh... I have to tell you one thing I am hoping for is that Mr. Mean Jeans gets his comeuppance. Of course, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Max's abusive stepbrother. I can't stand that guy either. I don't think anyone can. You know, we're all watching it. You know, Sergeant B's living, wants the guy to get his ass kicked. Kozo is suggesting we throw, you throw some feces at the guy. I just want to see that guy get his comeuppance. He doesn't have to be killed, but, you know, like maybe Steve beats him up. Or Winston or Duncan beats him up. Or Max punches him out. Or maybe, like, there's a swarm of moths that eat all his, like, denim jackets and jeans. And he starts crying about it. You know? So he's got an ass whooping coming. Especially in this episode. He, he broke Max's skateboard. What a douche. Come on now. I, just, I don't like me, Mr. Mean Jeans. And that's all I gotta say. I hope you enjoyed this video.